Golden Apple Archipelago has returned. Wait, I forgot to switch to English. Oh my god. <sighs> A friend of mine? <笑>あなたを見つめている。ああ。I never would have guessed that she wanted to meet at the cathedral. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, for the record, I have never met Fischl in game. I think the last time Fischl appeared was in the Unreconciled Stars event, right? Fischl, where are you? Hello, <gasps> she's with Mona. Oh my God! Welcome, welcome, most loyal attendants of the Princessin. <laughs> Hi, Fisho. It's my first time meeting you. Traveler, Paimon. It's a pleasure <laughs> to see you again. Our Main favorite Freulein translator. And I extend to you our most sincere greetings. Hello. A normal person in the situation would simply say, Hi, Traveler. How have you been? <laughs> Fine, thanks. The Traveler and I are like intertwined stars in the vast galaxy. You of all people should very well know the fate foretold by this meeting. Precisely. Lady Magistus, please refrain from such unimaginative oh utterances. Oh my god. Lady M M That's her- oh, What now? Isn't that her, like- That's her last name, isn't it? Is, is that your new nickname? <laughs> Lady Magistus has long since become a citizen of the Imanakreish. She has been serving as court archmage under one's command for some time now. <clears throat> That's just my surname. Don't yeah. mind that. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> You're here because Fischl asked Catherine to ask you to come, right? Mm-hmm. Indeed so, my archmage. Did even this appear in thy divination? Why, your powers are truly dangerous. Oh, for the love of... No, of course not. You told me yourself that you'd left a message with Catherine. God, I love Mona so much. I don't think you understand how happy I am that I finally got Mona after almost two years of being Mona-less. Like, she's the one stand of five star that I could not get. Indeed. Only one's most faithful envoys are fortunate enough to be privy to this great revelation. <clears throat> the Imanok Rush is near Mondstadt. Do I- do I have to report this to the Knights of Ovonius? I guess I am. <laughs> no, please. That will be most unnecessary. The truth is that yesterday, Her Highness encountered the oh, Spark Clee. Knight Klee outside of the city. Both being of great fame, they recognized one another instantly and began to converse. On the way, Her Highness relayed to Klee the story of her origins. Upon hearing the tragic tale of the fall of Her Highness's homeworld, the tender-hearted Spark Knight inquired, with tears welling up in her eyes. Mona, you're not so bad at this. Oh no, is the Imanakreish really gone? Won't it grow back? <laughs> oh mortal, your sovereign's heart is touched by thy sincerity and sympathy. But nay, the Imanakreish is an everlasting realm, and one day, it shall make its reappearance. Really? So how do we make your homeland grow back again? Oh, please tell me. Please, please. please. <laughs> Since you inquire so earnestly, <clears throat> give unto me a tranquil haven. Promise <sighs> me eternal admiration. Lend me both time and wind, and one shall revive one's homeworld. Could you cut the reenactment and just get to the point? <laughs> In short, Klee gave Fischl an island to serve as the promised land where the Immernal Crash will appear. I didn't believe oh it either God. at first, but then I saw this letter. So Klee just gave the Golden Apple Archipelago to Fischl? Esteemed princess of the Immernal <laughs> You, who have traveled to the farthest reaches of the world, Fathom the celestial path of stardust in the palm of your hand, and witness raindrops converge and become one with the undercurrent of destiny. You. Yes, you. Mm -hmm. Me. 
must chart the course that leads the way to the land promised to main Fräulein by fate. All right. Oh, Fischl doesn't know the way there. I knew it. <laughs> Look at Ether's face. <laughs> um, since thou asked <laughs> for our help, Paimon can tell us you that we are good friends with the Spark Knight Klee, the guides of destiny. Paimon, seriously. Come on, just play along. <sighs> Very well. I am the one who hath traveled here from beyond the stars. <laughs> Behold, the watcher, the guide, the weaver of dreams, the traveler. Mona, for someone who isn't interested in this role playing, you're getting. <laughs> you're, you're, you're really good at this. Another half hour. <laughs> <laughs> to sum up, <laughs> traveler, since you say you know the way, we'll let you take us to the island. I mean, the promised land. Lady Magistus, leave it to me. Oh, good, fine, done. <laughs> but right now, um, Lady Magistus needs to go home to pack her things and catch up on some sleep. Your Highness, your uh, other distinguished <laughs> selves, let's meet at the city gate at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. All right. Very well. Then it is settled. One blesses you with an undisturbed slumber, Lady Magistus. You too, traveler. Were we here all day? We got here when it was morning and now it's night. Main Fräulein means to say good night. <laughs> See you all tomorrow. We're here for the whole day, bruh. About darn time! <laughs> good night! Good night! Why don't we get some people with mind-boggling ideas to help us out? Can't we just go to Venti again? Like, hey Venti, can you call the Valen to take us there again? The golden Apple vacation returns! I am so excited. Oh my uh, god! What are they doing in Monster? Oh my god! Cosplay, my love, my beloved, and Shinyan! It's been so long! Wow, Traveler, Paimon! Speak of the devil! We were literally just talking about you! Oh, you guys are talking about me? <laughs> Truly a curious coincidence. Hi, Kazuha! So, you all know each other. My newfound friends are my old friends' friends from afar! <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Yep. This is a rare opportunity indeed. Oh, we should form a poetry club and call it, uh, the Free Poetry <laughs> He's Society. just closing his eyes like, please Something no. Like uh, you guys came here from Liyue? Yeah, I felt like getting out and finding some new inspiration for my songwriting. Kazaha felt like going on a trip too, so we figured we'd travel together. Oh, they're besties. Last month? Beto held a big booze-filled party called the Drink Till You Sink Championship. Oh my god. And she put me in charge of the music. And that's where I met Kazuha. Ah, I see. Although Shinyan can come across as unruly at times, her musical understanding is highly nuanced and Aww. original. Safe to say, our shared appreciation for music struck a chord in us both. That's so sweet. By the way, do you know anything about the Iridescence Tour? It's supposed to be huge. Rumor has it that all seven nations Damn. of the that are gonna be involved. I never... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, is that the one you mentioned last time? I'd love to give the festival another shot. But wouldn't you know it? The plans fell through again! How can they mess up this bad twice in a row? Music is all about inspiration. Maybe the organizers canceled the show because theirs dried up. But fear not, weary travelers, for your journey was not in vain. It has, after all, brought you here, to me, to the Temple of Music. Your Temple of Music must have more than just good tunes. You're a bard, ain't you? A song's gotta have a good story or it doesn't make the cut, right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, you understand the meaning of being a bard so well. To express my gratitude, I will even share one of these stories with you. <clears throat> Legends tell of an emerald isle in the middle of the ocean. There, the Dodo King and his people live a blissful existence. When a Dodoko is born, it dives into the water. Some learn to swim. Others are carried away by the waves, all the way to Mondstadt, Aww. where they befriend the children there. Clee. One Dodoko made a new friend in Mondstadt, the little Spark Knight. But the Dodo King did not approve. He demanded that the little knight come to the island and prove herself to him. Oh, this, is a, this is a recap of last year's event. 
So the little knight, together with her most important friend in the world, braved the wind and waves, finally reaching the middle of the ocean. But Dodo King was not there. Dodo King had lied. There was no trial, by fire or interrogation. The little knight's mother, who was a mage, had built an entire summer city there as a gift to her daughter, Aww. along with this message. Summer is the season of love. It is the time for freedom and fun. So everyone, please sing, dance, and enjoy yourselves here. The end. Yay! <laughs> clap, clap for the bard. What was that awkward <laughs> clapping? No, Kazuha's drunk. Oh, is Kazuha drunk? Uh oh, this fella's drunk. But uh, wasn't he drinking oh fruit juice? Oh my god, Kazuha! <laughs> more, 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 more. <laughs> oh my god! More. I uh, more, I did please. not. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I think I accidentally placed some fruity cocktails oh out there. Oh my god. <laughs> my bad. Kazuha. <sighs> Seriously? <I'm, laughs> my heart. <laughs> my poor heart. Anyway, guess it's time to talk about business after all that drinking. You came here because you need my help, I presume? I'm gonna pass out. Yeah, I came here because I wanted to ask you about the islands. Oh my, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna cry. Kazuha! <laughs> Are you okay? Kazuha! Kazuha! <laughs> Kazuha? Kazuha! Oh, he just won't wake just up. passed out. <laughs> Looks like we're staying in the tavern tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry, bro. I can't do this. Speaking of, guess which two people I ran into on my way to the tavern today? Mona and Fischl? Hmm. Master Jean? Or Lisa? A mother and daughter, both with long <gasps> elf ears and the most amazingly adorable personalities. But you're telling me you saw Alice? He she's here in Mondstadt already. Alice and Clee? They were here together? Ding, ding, ding! Correct dancer! The unaging mage was taking her teeny tiny knight on a vacation, and I happened to run into them. As a friendly greeting, the mysterious woman gave me a gift. She also said that if I meet any fun friends, I should share this gift with them. So now it's yours to keep. <laughs> oh, it's a bomb! It's called a dodo communication device, and it allows people to stay in touch over vast distances. However, you can't just use it any time you want, and there's also a limit on the number of times you can use it. Uh. That's why it's currently only available to a certain select few. I heard that the inspiration for this comes from another world. <laughs> Alice is always full of surprises. So like, we're we're close. We're every day we're getting close to a phone, <laughs> getting a phone into that. Shinyan, do you want to come to the islands with us? <laughs> Adventure. Can't. Huh? Hmm? He doesn't want to go anymore. He seemed really interested just a moment ago. Can't miss uh, the adventure. He doesn't want to miss it. Uh, <laughs> Kazaha might act mature, but deep down he's just another youngster eager for new experiences. That must be why he didn't think anything of the fruit juice earlier. <laughs> There'll be a few others joining us on this trip, and we're meeting at the city gate tomorrow morning. We'll wait for you. <laughs> Guys, wanna wake up? We're going wandering. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Traveler? Wakey, wakey. Whether you're a princess, a retainer, a talking raven, a samurai, or a musician, you're all VIP guests of the island on your summer vacation. And that's what counts, right? <sighs> I'm sure looking forward to it. 
Uh, oh, are you coming too, Venti? Uh, I'll have to pass. I have some work to take care of. Okay, what kind of work? You serious? The Toad Dev <laughs> actually has plans to do you some actually, work? You actually have work? I promised a young lady with cat ears and a cat tail that I'd sing at her tavern to boost uh... business and beat the competition. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> the competition being this place, which has six-fingered Jose. Aren't you allergic to cats? Yeah. <laughs> yup. <laughs> I can always sing on their roof. Okay, <laughs> okay I guess. Guys, what? Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Guys, what? <laughs> oh, <little> good <giggle. laughs> All right. <laughs> Today is the day of one's reckoning with okay. fate, as foretold by the night sky. Humiliation suffered in the past, the shame we have carried all these years. One bids you adieu, for today it is time for... Retribution! Retribution. Main Fräulein, if I may be so bold, that <laughs> final phrase did not sound like one of your Sounds own. Sounds like D-looks. Of course it wasn't, I just overheard it from someone <laughs> in the city. Allow Paimon to introduce to you a fabled wandering swordsman of Inazuma, from Liyue. I like rock and roll, sunny days, and good times. You must be the princess Paimon told us about. You sure do look the part. Uh, I hear you're from a faraway land. It's an honor to be in the company of dignitaries. And this lady over here. My family tells me that only the wisest scholars wear pointed hats like this one. Uh, guess that applies to you too? Oh, I like her. <laughs> she can stay. A princess? An astrologist and an articulate raven retainer. In the company of giants, Aww. my humble self hardly deserves mention. Uh, Kazuha, come on. You you blocked the riding shogun's Musono Hitotachi. Come on. I am Kaidahara Kazuha from Inazuma. It is an honor to meet you all. What ho, Kazuha? Divulge thy epithets in thy vocation. Oh, main Fräulein would like to know where you work and what your field of expertise is. <laughs> um, I'm afraid I'm just another one. <laughs> Let me take a look. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, oh my. <laughs> Do you see how powerful my man is? Look at his smile. Hi, Kazuha. I'm absolutely delighted to meet a great swordmaster like you. Could we ask you to be our guard while we're on the <laughs> island? One hereby declares you captain of the royal guard yes, of the Imanakrite. Yes, captain. For even Lady Magistus to praise your skills, you are surely one of rare talent. Lady Magistus is absolutely right. Okay, Lady Mag <laughs> Magistus. Lady Magic. What? Oh, just call me Mona. Stop calling me that weird name. <laughs> By the way, Lady Magistus, we have a friend after I want to Yes. Oh my. <laughs> I thought we'd be riding to Valen. What is that? Hello? You know, I would bring Mona in my team, but I have not leveled her up because I did not prepare anything for her, so. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I suddenly don't feel like going anymore. <laughs> what a, uh, unique little thing. Looks kind of like Guova, doesn't it? <laughs> Either. <laughs> oh, behold, the doorway cloven by thundering retribution. By such means as I once descended into this realm to bring retribution, do I now venture into the next. Come, Oz, lead the way. I will enter first. Main Freud, I need not worry. <laughs> Alright, Oz is our little test subject. He's in! And now he's gone! Ooh. Why, this truly is the path of retribution that leads to the promised land. It's probably just a, like, a, like a teleport waypoint, basically. Uh, maybe I should just do a quick reading for safety. Lady Magistus, it's fine! This is Alice's creation. It's totally safe. Spare yourself the trouble. Just come with us. The, the fortress. Maybe a little crowded? <laughs> it's so dark in here. Um, can someone turn on the light? Ugh. Hey, quit pushing! Come on now, let's all try and stick. Ah, Fisher, you 
You're treading on my hair. I thought it was a snake. <laughs> uh, we're flying. Everyone, be careful. Ah, oh, I miss this. The beautiful music. <laughs> we finally landed. What was that all about? Do you like it, Kazuha? What a beautiful place. The wind is soft and the ocean is calm. And a pleasant scent blows on the breeze. Ooh, I miss this place so much. Yes. Oh, that's so beautiful. I regret not recording this event last year. I don't know why, but I just I wanted to enjoy it myself and I kind of regret not recording it because it was so fun. An ocean of life and a land filled with flora. Main Fräulein, we have finally arrived at the promised land, whence we shall revive the Imanakreish. Oh, faithful retainers, this is the blessed paradise that one has been searching for. Here is where we shall witness the culmination of all things. I, who command the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Just deal with Mona. <clears throat> shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. <laughs> your Archmage Magistus thanks you for your kindness, your highness. In this moment, I offer my blessings to the Emmernock Reich. Mona, what are you, uh... No, don't it's ask, it's just, just follow just, my lead. Just, just do it. <laughs> just follow the little role-playing. Oh, oh, right. <clears throat> Praise be to the princess <laughs> who has led us here to this sacred place. My sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip, your highness. <laughs> Look at Kazuha's face. <laughs> Your happiness gladdens one's heart. <sighs> How it delights me to bring us all together here at this most monumentally fateful of moments. Now, as I take my first step on this pilgrimage, I shall perceive this ocean of life with my own earthly vessel. After all, this is where my soul belongs. On the contrary, Lady Magistus, blessed as you are with the great power of Hydro, one yet finds too many impurities in thy soul. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Main Fräulein means Lady Magistus is perhaps not the most talented swimmer. <laughs> Why would you say that about her? Oh, official? That's enough. I'm happy enough to join in with the play acting without complaining, but how dare you ridicule my genius? Think you can swim better than me? Ha! I'll bring you to your knees, young lady. Oh my lady. god. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. Heed my words, lowly Lady Magistus. You shall pay for your foolishness for as long as you live. Ridiculous. I've never lost a single swimming race in my life. Bring it on. First one to run to the beach wins. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are they serious running? I thought they were gonna swim. Uh, never mind. Looks like they're enjoying this. <laughs> I take it you have no present plans. I want to start by surveying the area first. Want to come along? Oh, yes, Kazuha. Oh, Kazuha, it's good. It's so good that we can count on you. <laughs> well, hello there. Yeah. Hey, what's that huge weird thing over there? Oh, there's the Fatui insignia there. It appears to be some sort of machine. And an army cap with traces of hydro next to it. Oh. It seems that we are not the first to set foot on this so island. So one of the two skirmishers? Also, there are footprints here. Fresh ones. Likely no more than a few days old. There's other people here? Oh, Paimon's scared now. Come on, we need to track him down. To go around. Oh, hello, sir. Well, <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> oh, sir. Gabby Cat's gone. Where's Gabby Cat? Are you are you okay? Are you looking for something? <laughs> are you? He's crying. A cab. I can't. I can't lose it. Are you? Okay? 
Okay, sir. We found a cap earlier. We, we do you want it? Is that yours? I don't know anything. Give me that cappy cap. <laughs> okay, we gotta find a cap for him. Is this the cap you're looking for? Yes, you, you can stop crying. It's okay. We found it for you. My brother's cappy cap. Give me, give me, give me. This guy is not the sharpest sword in the sheath. Shh, shh, Paimon, don't say that. Mm, don't bully me or I'll punch you in the. Ah! Monster! Monster! <laughs> this man is right crying. There. What? What are you doing here? Hello? What happened to him? Is he good? Nothing. He has a fever. He's just a little delirious. That's all. I don't have to tell you anything. Go bother what? someone else. Damn, bro. Is everyone from Snesh and I are this rude? This island belongs to our friend. You better watch what you say, mister. What? I thought this island was uninhabited. That's why we came here to... <clears throat> hmm. Never mind. What's the machine for? Fine. I'll tell you, but then you need to leave me alone. It's a new kind of energy generator that I invented. We were simply looking for a deserted island to test it out on. Hmm. There. Satisfied? Like we told you, this island is ours. Do not impede our vacationing. Do as you're told, we'll, uh, oh, we'll take his cat. No, we don't want to make him cry again. Oh, uh, by the way, um, why is there smoke coming out of your machine? <sighs> because the cursed thing is broken. As much as I hate to say it, our tests did not go to plan. Oh. You were getting ready to leave anyway. Oh, well, just see yourselves out whenever you're ready. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Why would the Fatui appear in such an isolated corner of the world? Whatever their reasons, it's likely more complicated than we might think. Even though we're on vacation, we should stay vigilant. I agree. Also, in the interests of keeping the ladies in good <laughs> spirits, yes. I have a suggestion. Okay, gentlemen. Uh, what do you have in mind? Let's keep this between us for now. Let them enjoy their vacation while the traveler and I deal Aww. with any potential threats. What do you think? Of course, I'm in. You're so considerate, Kazuha. A real gentleman. This is why he's my boyfriend. <laughs> I need to shut up. Paimon, you flatter me. I simply don't think it's worth ruining anyone's vacation over a trivial matter like mm, this. Yeah, but we gotta make sure they keep away from the Fatui. We make sure we make sure the girls don't run into the Fatui. The scenery is beautiful. I hope all of us can enjoy ourselves mm. here. Just in time. So, Traveler, Paimon, who do you think the real swimming champion is? Me or Fischl? Unfortunately, we didn't see, so... <laughs> Utter my supreme name and see how Lady Magistus, the presumptuous, is reduced to bitter tears. Uh, I'll go with whoever Paimon says is the winner. Oh, no, you don't. Don't put this on Paimon. Oh, wise Paimon. Surely you can discern who the true winner is. Lady Paimon, the time to show your loyalty is nigh. <laughs> Come on, Paimon. Wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't Paimon get some food in her first? Poor thing looks starving after such a long trek <laughs> out. Oh, thank you, Xinyan. Yes, we did walk quite a long way. Right? While you were off doing your own things, I caught us some seafood and picked us a few fruits. They taste real good barbecue. Nice. Paimon's done talking. You guys carry on if you want to go hungry. <laughs> okay, Paimon. Let's have dinner together. Since Shinyan made dinner for us, allow me to take charge of breakfast. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I'm looking forward to it already. Paimon, too. You forgot about something. Uh, what? Uh, let's talk over there. Oh. Hi, Venti. <laughs> hey, uh, miss me already? Hi, Venti. It's me. <laughs> I know that. <clears throat> You're the only person who can contact me on this thing. How come you're sneezing? He's, he's with the he's at the cat's tail, isn't he? I'm at the cat's tail. Ugh, so many cats. 
They, they gave me some allergy medicine, but it's not working. Okay, go on then. What are you calling about? Uh, Paimon, tell him. Could you be an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> just, just do All the talking right, for well, me. Fenty, there's some strange things going on on this island. We ran into the Fatui. Really? But, uh, <clears throat> you sound fine. They can't have caused you too much trouble, surely. Or, uh, if, if they did, I'm sure you have everything under control by now. Yeah, but something just doesn't feel right. That's why we came to you. Don't you have any information for us? Mm, I haven't heard anything new about the Fatui. Uh, but uh, don't worry. I may be a lowly toned up bard, but you may contact me whenever you need me. I mean, I can't promise I'll be of much help, but uh, at least you'll have someone to talk to, <laughs> right? Uh, sometimes just talking things through is enough to calm a worried mind. Ugh, honestly. <laughs> Adventuring is what you do best. It's only natural to encounter a few surprises when you head somewhere new, but just remember, not all unexpected encounters are dangerous. The same wind graces the seaside as that which wafts over pastures green. Whenever you see clouds, it was the wind that carried them there. Don't worry, my friends. The wind will always be with you. All right, Venti. Okay, then. I have to go now. My performance <laughs> on the cat's tail is starting any second. Good luck. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. So, he means we don't need to worry too much about the Fatui, right? I thought as much. Well... If that's what the tone deaf bard says, then fingers crossed we'll have a peaceful and relaxing vacation where nothing weird happens mm. at all. When you go off on a long trip with your friends, the important thing is to have fun. Mm-hmm. All right.